guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemmy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add in-app purchases to your applications. Now before I start, I'd just like to point out this is a four-part kind of tutorial. The first part in this video, I'll be showing you how to um, just quickly, simply set up, um, create an app ID, set up the application and create the in-app um, in -app purchase item for your application. So this is basically all the basics before we start coding our application. Now in the second part, I'll be doing the coding. The third part, I will be adding the save function to, um, to save our purchase. And in the fourth part, I'll, it's the most requested tutorial, I'll be sh um, showing you how to remove the iAds within your application from when you purchase um, an item. So, uh, add, so we're going to start right from the beginning, and that's simply we're going to create our app ID. Now already I'm in Google Chrome here, as you can see on the internet, and I've already um, gone straight into the iOS portal and about to register a new application. So once you do that, you can create an app ID description. So just simply a um, quick description of application. I'll just name it in app purchase. I'm going to use the um, team ID. I don't really need to change anything. And you can see right at the bottom, it's already selected, pre-selected game center and in app purchase um, for the app service at the bottom. Now, important thing here, when we do our um, bundle ID, we'll just simply do com geeky lemon dot in app purchase. Yours will be different, you can have, have yours however you like, it um, really doesn't really matter. But if you just want to copy what I'm doing for the purpose of this, go to continue and then we we'll create our ID. So you can see, it's all set up, um, set up or about to confirm it anyway. In app purchase is um, is enabled, and we got our identifier here, which will we need to remember that for later on in the tutorial. So we just submit that now and create it. So it's done now. We've registered our first app. So now we need to go into um, iTunes Connect and then create our application ready to submit. So if you jump into Manage Your Apps. Go to add new app, and then we'll, our app name, we'll simply name it for the purpose of this tutorial, so we'll simply name it in-app purchase, SQ, uh, SKU number, just anything really simple, you know, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, and bundle ID, we need to select our in-app purchase one, now we go to continue. We just need to do the basics to set it up. I just quickly press continue. Oh, set the price into there. It will be free. We just select it as free. Even though we're not going to submit this to the App Store. Version number 1.0, copyright, obviously your name. I'm just going to try and rush through this just to uh, get it all set up. You're going to be booking business. There's going to be no violence or anything in here. Description of the app. I try to on in app in app purchase. Um, keywords in app purchase. Support URL. Uh, oh, information. So I'm just really rushing through this, so phone number, I'll just make one up now so you don't start phoning me and asking me loads of questions because basically I'm not going to answer. Now we need to um, add a app icon and uh, a screenshot just to get the uh, kind of basics all set up. So I've already got some preset ones on a desktop, let's throw those in there. I, need, I think we need at least one screenshot. So I've had to load in there, and I can save that. Oh, we need to add a four-inch one. So I'll just quickly jump onto my larger screenshot here. Tools, adjust size, 
and we need it to be uh, take off scale portionally there just quickly making it um, kind of the same size for our four inch uh, loading screen there so let's quickly throw this one in there let it load him just wait in there okay so we can save it now now this has basically created the basics of our little app here now once we've done that and we've done all the basics we can now click on to manage in-app purchases now we have no, none of them set up any, um, already so we have to create our first one now we've got a few options here to select from consumable, non-consumable, auto-renewable, free subscription and non-renewing subscription now each one does a different thing, like non-consumable will be something like uh, you, well, we're going to select a day, so we're gonna, you only need to purchase it once within the application. Consumable will be something that like, the user can download all the time, like something like if they want extra lives they can purchase it, or if they want some like gold in their one of their like you know, an app, you know, purchase more currency for the application. Auto renewable subscription um, is like uh, magazines, like so you pay so much a month to allow you to use the app, and so on and so on. But we're going to be using non consumable as the um, user will only have to purchase the item once. Now, a reference name will just simply, it's something on your half that you can clearly um, identify the um, in app purchase from the other ones you have created. So I'll just name it in app purchase one. Product name, so we do com. Dot Kiki Lemon dot. Um, we named our. We um, give our bundle ID com dot Kiki Lemon um, that in that purchase. So we could just back into it quickly and create another new one. Non consumable. Again, we'll name it in at purchase one product um, ID and then we do dot in at purchase one. Um, clear the scale, yes. Price and tier. This will be um, the tier of how much you want to charge. So tier one will be um, in my currency. It will be I think it's like 69p or 99 cents. So we we'll just do tier one. All it shows you here anyway. The um, pricing structure. We go to add language. Go UK. Well, UK English. Um, display name. So obviously, when you um, the user goes to buy, and then the message appears up telling the user what they are about to buy. So this will be the name it will display. So um, let's give it a name. Uh, remove ads and description. Um, purchase this item to remove ads from the application. Save that. Now the content is not hosted with Apple, so you can make sure that's selected as no. Review notes is optional, and also we need to select a screenshot to um, re um, for Apple to review when you upload your application. So I'm just going to pick this one. Normally it will be as the screenshot of your in-app purchase, like before you're about to buy it, just to show them that it, you know which section it is. So I'll save that. Let me just wait for that to um, complete. Now it's ready to submit, so we've created our app ID and then we've also created our in-app purchase. So now once you've done that, we can simply close it down and then jump into Xcode and create a new project. We'll just make it a single view application and we'll name it in-app in -app purchase tutorial. We simply create that. And just make it larger now. Now, once we've done that, if we go to uh, our supporting files, go to our info.plist, and in the bundle name here, just paste in our bundle ID that we created in our um, app ID here. So it's com.geeklemon.inet purchase, or however you um, created your one. So we um, kind of save and then build it. Just a project, so it's all built in. And you see at the um, summary here, our com.geeklemon.inet purchase. That means now we've got our bundle identifier in that can now pull our in-app purchase from our or anything to do with our app from our iTunes Connect, whether it be the iAds, in-app purchasing, Game Center, it pulls it from there so it knows that this, this application is linked up to that ID on the App Store. 
So okay then, so now we've um, simply created our ID, our inlet purchase item, and we've just created our project now, ready to start coding. This comes to an end for our part one of the in-app purchase tutorial. So, so far, I hope this helps in your apps or projects. Make sure you um, like, the, um, like the video, favorite the video, so you go for future reference. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you go check out all our apps on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. But again, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.